Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to a review of the Disney Store Silver Max Chanel. Now, before we get into the review, I wanted to mention a few things to you guys. First up, I wanted to ask you if you guys would be interested in any videos regarding Hot Wheels. Like, I was wondering maybe if I could do a find video or recent finds of the summer or whatnot because I actually just found these the other day at Meijer. These are the Rig Storm Treasure Hunts in the first case of 2016 so I was pretty happy to find those. I'm obviously not as knowledgeable about the Hot Wheels as I am the Disney cars but I definitely can make uh, an interesting presentation I hope about my recent finds. And then the second thing I wanted to mention to you guys is that my circus pickup actually did come and as you can see right here, you may be wondering why am I not reviewing this today and the reason for that is because I actually ordered this one, I pre-ordered it from Walmart store and I also bought one off Amazon that should be arriving on Wednesday tomorrow and I want to see how the Amazon package the card will be because the one I received here from Palmar is absolutely perfect, almost perfect, and uh, obviously I don't want to open up this perfect one until I see how the quality of the Amazon card because I don't want to open up this one and then receive the one from Amazon that's all busted up. So I hope you guys can understand that. I might do this review on Saturday along with the 1000 subscribers special. Or I might do it on Tuesday, I'm not exactly sure when, but uh, you, got, you guys get a little preview of what he looks like. He's actually a different model from Dexter Hoover. Uh, if you got A lot of people were thinking that he'd be the same as Dexter Hoover, and I did as well, but he is indeed different. I'm super, super excited to open him up and complete the entire circus collection. So I hope you guys don't mind that I am not reviewing that one today. But instead, we do have a nice silver Mac Chanel. I hope you guys enjoy this too. So this was released over the summer and it is a chaser. Most of the new Disney Store cars are chasers, which is kind of weird. I'm not sure why every single new casting they make is, or not new casting, but every new die cast, new paint scheme or whatever, they make it a chase, which is the silver kind of foil logo on here. And it looks really cool, chaser series. But uh, I'm not sure why they make everyone a uh, chaser. So as you can see, it's just Max Chanel in his silver design. And it kind of looks like a Zamac design. If you guys don't know, Hot Wheels actually has Zamac cards. And it looks very similar to this. Quite a bit different from the Mattel silver eraser of Max Chanel, which we'll compare them to when I open them up. So that's why I was really interested to buy this one because it looks a lot different from the Mattel version. And the eyes aren't horrible. So I'm looking forward to opening this one up. Nothing too interesting. These are $7 in the US, $8 in Canada. And uh, there's nothing really much interesting on the package. It just kind of has this like light year handle. And that's basically it. No more details or anything. Just kind of a just regular packaging. So let me open this one up and we'll take a closer look at them. These things are so hard to open. After 20 minutes, I finally was able to get the wire out of these wheels here. Great job, Disney Store. Alright, so here is the Silver Mash now, looking pretty cool. So let's start by comparing them to the Disney Store regular Mac Chanel. I do have one from a set a while back. I believe it was a set that came with all the crew chiefs. That was a pretty cool set when Mattel didn't even make many of the crew chiefs yet, but now they're down to only one crew chief left, and actually Max Schnell's crew chief Autobahn will be released as a single in the 2016 line. So now back to these, I, I, as you can see, they have the same expression, but oddly though, the eye color is different there. As you can see, it's a little bit different, actually quite a bit different, which is kind of odd. I'm not sure why they would change it, but it looks like everything else is basically the same. All the decals, uh, nothing too important. I have to say, I really am liking the look of the silver Max Chanel here, probably even more than the regular uh, or the Mattel version, but uh, yeah, they do look to be the same. No differences between the decals there. But then now let's compare them to the Mattel version. Now, of course, if you guys don't know, Disney Store makes diecast 143 scale and Mattel makes them 155. Therefore, the Mattels uh, are smaller while the Disney Store cars are bigger. Now, that is most of the time scenario. Now, 
there are some die casts that for some reason it's flipped or it's very similar like the queen for example the disney store the queen is much smaller not much smaller but it's decently smaller than the mattel queen now i have no idea why that's just how it is but uh, this is actually one that follows the scale there now First off, you can see that the expression is different, which is quite obvious because obvious, uh, you're going between two different brands here, so they're not going to have the same expression. Now, one also major thing here is that, as you can see on the Mattel version, these stripes that resemble a German flag kind of fade into the hood there, while the one on the Disney store, they go all the way back solid until they reach the end of the hood there. And of course, it's pretty obvious, but the, the tone of the silver is much different. Mattel actually kind of made it look really shiny silver. And the Disney store kind of did like a Zamac, not really shiny silver, just kind of like bare metal it looks like. And obviously, I like that. I like that because I'm not really a big fan of the silver racers. But um, this definitely puts a new kind of spin on I like these. The Disney store made a few more silver racers. I, I definitely uh, buy some of those. The decals are mostly the same on both of them, but uh, there is a little bit difference in the uh, stripes again in the back here. Much more solid on the Disney Store and faded on the Mattel version there. On the back, there's uh, quite a bit of difference on the, I mean not that big of a difference, but I just wanted to point out that in these kind of like exhausts, I'm not sure what these are. But as you can see, they're not really filled in too much. But this, as you can see, they're filled in black right there. They're solidly filled in detail, which looks really cool. And the Disney store always usually has a few more details. As you can see, there's like a black kind of stripe going right there. The Mattel version just left that blank and just colored it with silver, obviously. So there's a few differences now and then. And uh, one thing I wanted to point out with the Disney Store headlights and taillights is that they actually use plastic inserts. So that's not part of the actual body, which is pretty nice. There's a separate part that's underneath that's a plastic insert there. And uh, for Mattel, they just kind of put a decal on it over the paint. So that's basically all for the Disney Store version of Max Chanel Silver a silver racer yep and uh, i have to say i definitely like the silver racer or the disney store version more than the mattel version and i just i like the details better a few things you can actually look at now um, the disney store version has this antenna up here has a much black darker spoiler there versus the gray over here and the color of the side view mirrors are different silver and black so much more detail on the disney store version although the disney store we all know has it's problems like I uh, just kind of pointed out there with the packaging. It, it's just a horrible packaging to be honest. And um, of course sometimes they have paint flaws. The eyes are not the best. But this one's a pretty good release. I'm happy with it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, let me know if you'd like to see any Hot Wheels videos. I did kind of vlog this when I my journey to Meyer when I found these. So I might put those in some sort of video and we'll see what happens. And um, let me know if you want to see any Hot Wheels videos. Also, Circus Pickup should be coming out in the next few days. Let me know if you want. I'm sure you guys would want to see it on Saturday. That's not even a question. Uh, I'm not sure though because I kind of want to spread out my videos a little bit more. So I don't know if I want to do this on the same day as the 1,000 subscribers special. So thanks again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.